Use Boundary Fill. In this video, we'll use Boundary Fill to make a solid volume. In Fusion 360, we want to use the supplied dataset Gear Reduction Housing Boundary Fill. We've already taken a look at adding a portion of the design that's going to hold a bearing by creating a couple extrudes and combining them together. We've also done this with a revolve. Now, it's important to understand that when we're creating 3D parametric models, there are oftentimes many different ways to achieve the same result. The method you choose is going to depend on the resources you have available, potentially the geometry you're working with, and your familiarity with the tools. Because of that, I think it's important that we explore another method, in this case boundary fill, that we can use to create the exact same geometry. On the back side of this housing, we have a plane, and if we expand our bodies folder, we have two surface bodies. We're going to use a tool from the Create menu called Boundary Fill. Boundary Fill allows us to use solid and surface bodies as well as work planes in order to create closed regions, cuts, or intersections. When we select Boundary Fill, we first need to select our tools. For us, it's going to be the back housing, body 5, body 6, as well as this construction plane. Once we do that, you'll note that we get two cells available to us. The next thing that we need to do is move on to the select cells. If I select both of these cells, it's going to take all of the closed in regions, the area between those two surfaces capped off by that plane and the original back body, and it's going to combine them as one solid body. If we hide the construction planes and hide the surfaces, and we hide all of the other bodies, you'll note that we have body seven. Now, Body 7 contains all of the geometry that we created using those two surfaces, as well as the back housing and that new construction plane. This is an extremely handy tool that can be used for things like complex surfaces used to create a closed area. They can also be used to create things like mold core and cavities by using existing faces and surfaces to create those core and cavity geometries. From here, it's important to play around with these tools and explore what they can do. But again, we're not going to be using the boundary fill version of this for our final. Make sure that we do save this before moving on to the next step. 